All change here. Yes, we're leaving the traffic behind. Forgetting there's that morning train to catch. Forgetting it's standing room only on the bus home. That the new cars for export only. We're meeting an old friend. Nan's oldest friend. The horse. And where better to meet him than at the Gymkhana where he does his tricks. Where man takes a back seat and Dobbin holds the stage. Britain's love of horses is a legacy from quieter, slower times and life moved at a jog trot and people lived closer to the earth and hadn't thought about machines so that even in our streamlined press button age the horse remains as much a part of the British scene as the cliffs of Dover. Science, with all its restless inventions, has found no substitute for the horse in pleasures close to the countryman's heart. And when the sound of the horn and the cry of the hounds call a man from his bed, who would ever dream of going by bus? Yes, you'll find him everywhere, in the city streets, on the land, a patient plodding figure, a survivor of other years in the age of machines. But now let's see him in his 